Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? Um, on today's video, we are going to show you how to um, extract, um, would I say, a part of um, a shapefile. Let's say um, you have a larger part of a shapefile which is um in this case we have shown you how we came about one of them we downloaded a ship file from i think um, QGIS, and then we we um, um brought it on to um QGIS. now we would have to bring in that ship file again and try to extract a part of it maybe we would want to work on that we want to make a map with just that part and not everything so that's what we are going to show you on today's video so yeah, um, if you're coming to the channel for the first time, please um, encourage us by subscribing and thanks for always um, checking up on us if you've always been there with us. Now let's start the tax of today. So when we come to layer, then um, add layer and then add vector layer, you know the tree, right? So you come to the browse and then you navigate to the folder where you would have um, saved your, um, your, your shape file. Alright, so um, these are the shape file we want to use for the practice. So we just um, open all of them, we add and then we want we close. So it was the, uh, would I say, the administrative map of Nigeria we downloaded the other time. So let's close them, um, some of these um, layers to see. Good. This is the layer we are concerned with. So um, we want to extract, let's say, one of the states. Let's say that we want to extract one of the states so that um, let's say you downloaded the whole of Nigeria, but you want to work on maybe a part of. So that's what we are going to show you how to do today. So um, let's see how it is being labeled, um, show label, right? Okay. So let's see the um, attribute table to see, okay, name underscore one. The, this name underscore one is actually the field used to um, label the state. Therefore, we would go back to the label and then change the labeling to name underscore one. I think it's on name underscore zero. That's what we are trying to check. So um, we come to properties and then we modify that uh, that particular option. Okay, it's on name underscore zero, yeah. So we take it to name underscore one. Then the font, um, let's see, time new Roman, times new Roman, yeah. Then apply and then, okay, good. We are good to go. So we might not really need these other um, layers again, so we can easily remove them, right? Let's remove them. Okay, so we just um, have the layer we need. Now we would want to extract um, FCT. That is um, yeah, the this um, particular state here. Yeah. So we want to extract FCT. So what we are going to do now is that you would use this um, let's say this tool. You would use this tool. Now you click on the tool, and then you select the area you want to what you want to extract. So if you just click on it has been highlighted you move it to this other one it has been highlighted you can click multiple by um, holding your control key and selecting multiple so with the control key and using that particular tool you can see we have selected up to three would i say three states yeah in this case we have selected up to three states so you can actually use this other um tool here this is what and uh, what layer panel what panel is this rather we have okay, the selection toolbar. Good. We are on the selection toolbar. So on the selection toolbar, that's where you would see all these tools. So you can still use them. This same um, select features to deselect everything you have selected. But as I said earlier, we are going to do what we are going to work on FCT. So since the tool is still active, we just do what we select FCT. Okay. So upon selecting FCT, we now see that. Okay, this is our area of concentration. Sometimes it's even, would I say, um, easier for, okay, let's say it's applied when you want to get a um, study area map. And then you have the map of maybe the whole, the whole extent, but you just want to extract a part of it. So you can also use this. Now, since we have been able to select the part we need, we come to the, the main layer. 
and then we right click on it then we go to what we go to export then under export we click on what save selected features as so we want to only save the selected features not the whole of the the let's say the layer on the map canvas are we together so that's another important part of today's video you um, you click on the um, you select the layer you're working on you right click you go to export and you want you select them um, save selected features as so you just click on it then okay we can decide to convert it to um we can decide to save it as shape file directly or maybe remove it from um geo package and then later move it to shape file either of the both or let's say either of the two rather can go so let's now say okay let's have it as a geo package then we do what we give the file name so browse so we are working on this folder extract from um, shp so let's just call this um, test right let's call this test and then we say what we say save every other parameter we can decide to do another stuff with it if we want to else it's okay as they are so we just say what okay so the extracted let's say the layer that was exported is now under your layer panel so you can decide to close the main or the full or the complete and you will just have the part you need your area of interest or your area of concentration you just have what your area of interest or what your area of concentration so if you need it as a shape file maybe for you to be able to carry out maybe so many other stuff and tax with it you can still click on it and you come to what export and you click on what save features as the same way we had to export the selected features now it's not selected feature we are trying to save the whole feature because this time around we just have our area of concentration we are not selecting any part of it so you just click on save features as and this time around we are saving it as what um shape file so you select shape file and then we give it the name as well so let's call this um, let's call this test as well but um, please pardon my spelling i just love to spell that way so you click on save again and you say what okay so you will still see that on the layer panel so we have been able to extract this fct from the main uh, would i say from the whole yes from the whole um, country boundary or maybe country map and then with that we have been able to have it as a, a, a ship file which is the last one we have here so from here you can decide to get your layout um, can decide to do so many other stuff you want to do with it but i think the crux of this video is to show you how to extract a portion or a part of um, a shape file and then you can do as many things as you want to do with the um, extracted um, part or the extracted feature as the case is so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solutions to this um, particular surveying problem um, we hope to see you on our next video. Until then, keep being good at what you're doing and have a nice time. Bye.